Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and today I want to talk to you about Harvest Health and Recreation Inc. I did a video for you right before the open today, and what happened? Bam! It's up 8%, traded 1.4 million shares at $7.80. And who brought it to you first? Your boy Rich. In fact, in fact, I brought this to you guys in December, and I told you guys this was one of my top picks of 2019. In fact, it was my top 10 pick of January 2019, and I want to go through the news because the news keeps coming. It's unbelievable. The news keeps coming. So yesterday, I broke some news, and I'm going to continue to break the news to you. So let's quickly go through some of the news that just broke. Harvest Health and Recreation Inc. HARV on the CNX. Harvest will be awarded Ohio Medical Marijuana Processor License. Wow! A vertically integrated public cannabis company with one of the largest footprints in the U.S. announced the Ohio Department of Commerce pending background checks will award the company a provisional processor license under Ohio's Medical Marijuana Control Program. This is huge news. This is breaking news. And I absolutely love this company, and it has been on fire. I believe it's up over 50% in the last month alone since I brought it to you guys. So I believe this baby could continue to rise. The application scored among the top 26 after being judged on a series of standards and merits, including relevant experience across multiple verticals in the cannabis space. Prior demonstration of compliance, financial viability, and proposed community benefits. With the win, Harvest will hold a processing license, a tier one cultivation license, and three retail dispensary licenses in Ohio, making it only multi-state operator to be organically vertically integrated in the state. Harvest holds over 60 licenses nationally, expanding its national footprint across 12 states. Wow. Ohio has an important long-term role in the cannabis industry, said Steve White, founder and CEO of Harvest. It has the seventh largest state economy, a skilled manufacturing workforce, and a growing patient count. We are thrilled to open full vertically operations and look forward to contributing to the Buckeye econo economy for years to come. This is a solid win for coming on the heels of a big retail victories in Pennsylvania and Santa Monica, California. Founded in 2011 in Arizona, Harvest is now one of the only consistently profitable vertically integrated cannabis companies in the United States. The company brings together in-house cultivation, manufacturing, retail facilities, construction, real estate, and technologies, backed by experienced finance, compliance, operations, real estate, human resources, marketing, and legal teams. We have a proven track record, record in writing applications, and working in the cannabis industry. With more than 525 employees, wow! That's impressive. Harvest plans to continue to grow its operations across the U.S. throughout 2019 and beyond. An international leader in the cannabis industry, Harvest holds itself to the most stringent health, safety, and quality standards in the industry when it comes to the growth, production, and sale of cannabis, medicines, and products for consumers since its founding. The company has donated more than $500,000 to veterans, seniors, children, patients in need, and other charitable recipients. Wow, that's some huge news. And that's just one piece of news. My goodness, Harvest Health and Recreation Inc. Let's bring you guys more news. Then after that was put out, there was another press. There was three press releases out yesterday, so I'm not surprised that this is moving. And we're going to go through all of them right now. And look at this, while we're speaking, it's going even higher. It's now at $7.81, up 8.47%. Harvest Health and Recreation Inc. CEO to present at the Benzenga Cannabis Capital Conference in Miami Beach on Wednesday, January 16th. So this news broke yesterday. Oh, and just so you know, the OTC symbol is HTHHF. Harvest Health and Recreation Inc. CSE HARV on the OTC HT. HHF, a vertically integrated public cannabis company with one of the largest footprints in the U.S., will present at the upcoming Benzinga Cannabis Capital Conference in Miami Beach, Florida, on Wednesday, January 16, 2019. Harvest Health and Recreation, Inc., Harvest CEO and founder Steve White, will be interviewed by Alan Brostein, the founder of 420 Investor, during the conference's town hall panel, Multi-State Operators, MSO, Response to a Changing Landscape. 
The interview will be a deep dive into how Harvest and other MSOs are responding to a changing landscape and initiating expansion into the U.S. and beyond. The Brockstein White interview will take place on Wednesday, January 16, 2019 at 12.25 p.m. Eastern at the Benzinga Cannabis Capital Conference, which is being held at Eden Rock Hotel, located at 4525 Collins Avenue, Miami Beach, Florida. Founded in 2011 in Arizona, Harvest is now one of the only consistently profitable vertically integrated cannabis companies in the United States. The company brings together in-house cultivation, manufacturing, retail facilities, construction, real estate, and technologies, backed by experienced finance, compliance, operations, real estate, human resources, marketing, and legal teams who have a proven, trusted track record in writing applications and working in the cannabis industry. With more than 525 employees, Harvest plans to continue to grow its operations across the U.S., including in states like California, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and elsewhere throughout 2019. And then to continue the momentum, because they just keep popping out news, what do they do? They bring out another news today. That's four press releases in like 24 hours. It's absolutely unbelievable. These guys are on fire. Let's bring you today's news. Because what do I do? I bring you the news first. It's true. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything I talk here on Rich TV Live. Okay? Now, if you buy something, buy it because you love it. Not because you heard it here first. Obviously, you're going to hear it here first. I bring you everything first. Okay? Check the statistics, people. Harvest Health and Recreation, Inc. on the CSE HARV, a vertically integrated public cannabis company with one of the largest footprints in the United States, announced the appointment of John Cochran as Chief Operating Officer, COO, effective immediately. Cochran is the former CEO of multi-state cannabis company, Loud Pack, Inc., former CEO of Old Smoky Distillery, former CEO of Pabst Brewing Company and former president and COO of Fiji Water Company. John will report to Harvest President Steve Gutterman and be a key member of the executive team. With an aggressive growth plan for 2019 and beyond, attracting a world-class executive like John to work with our talented team and lead Harvest's operations is very exciting, said Harvest CEO Steve White. John's proven track record and some of the largest and best-known multinational brands and companies will accelerate our growth as we aggressively expand into new markets. His cannabis experience is an added bonus. Cochrane has a long history leading and driving revenue, profitability, and shareholder value with some of the largest companies in the United States, such as CEO of Hollandia Produce, the leading hydroponic farmer, producer, and seller of Living Greens in North America, CEO of Old Smoky Distillery, the number one unaged whiskey brand, and CEO of Pabst Blue Ribbon, the largest American-owned beer company in the U.S. prior to Pabst. Cochrane also served as president and CEO of the Fiji Water Company. Cochrane comes to harvest from multi-state cannabis company Loudpack Inc., where he served as CEO at Loudpack. Cochrane led the, lead, the daily operations of the business, brought new cultivation and production facilities online, built an operating team of more than 300 employees, and launched eight different brands and product lines last year. I'm excited to bring my leadership and knowledge of the cannabis industry to one of the fastest growing companies in the fastest growing industry in the world. It's true, said Harvest CEO John Cochrane. At a time when more mainstream consumers are becoming curious about cannabis products and turning to the plant to help improve their health and wellness, I look forward to applying my decades of experience and the best of what I have learned at some of the biggest U.S. companies to create great value for our shareholders and the cannabis industry at large. Unbelievable news, huge news. You heard it here first, and they're popping. They're popping. 8% today, 5% yesterday, like 50% in like the last month alone. HARV, unbelievable, great company. You heard it here first from your boy Rich. If you're not winning, you're most likely not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. What do you think about this company? Please let me know, comment down below. Remember, if I win and you win, we both win. The symbol in America is HTHHF on the OTC H-A-R-V on the C-S-E. This is your boy Rich. And I'm out. Peace.